welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some men's stocking stuffer ideas because I'm going to be showing you everything that I've bought from Matt Stocking this year. I've also made two videos like this in the past, so I'll link them down below if you want even more ideas. But this year, I have quite a lot to show you because this year, Matt and I have decided not to buy each other any presents because we're going to buy each other a night away in the UK. Um, but we have said that we will still do stockings. So I've bought a lot of stuff. I'm kind of cheating because I'm putting a lot of presents into the stocking, but hopefully this will give you some ideas and I would love for you to also share your ideas in the comments below because I think everyone watching this will want to see those as well. So I'll just show you what I've got. So this is Matt's stocking here. It's from Not On The High Street and you can personalize them. We all have matching stockings and it is quite a good size. This is everything I've got. I don't know if it's all gonna fit in. You know when you're collecting stuff for months from various different places and now that I've got it all, I don't know if it's all gonna fit. Um, but these are like two of the main presents. I don't know if they're actually gonna fit in, but if not, I'm actually going to gift wrap the boxes and just cheat a little bit. Um, so in terms of Jo Malone, we're huge fans of Jo Malone fragrances and we'll often share their fragrances because they are so unisex. This is his favorite fragrance from there. It is the Intense Oud and Bergamot. It is very masculine, but sometimes I will even wear it because it's so nice. And then I got him a new one, which he's never had before. It is called English Oak and Hazelnut. So I thought that sounded quite festive. And whenever you order from Jo Malone, you get a sample as well. So I got a little sample of Lime Basil and Mandarin. So I might just stick that little sample in as well. We're also huge Molten Brown fans. So I got him a few bits from there. Each year I get him a Molten Brown Bauble. It's filled with their shower gel. And this is the Mesmerizing Oud um, and Gold festive it's got like little bits of gold within the shower gel I don't know if you can see that but it smells really really nice so I've got him that and then this gift set so I'm basically really cheating but his favorite um, shower gel from Molten Brown is the Recharge Black Pepper so I got him the shower gel and then also the Recharge Black Pepper deodorant and similar to Jo Malone when you order from Molten Brown you can choose a sample so I thought this one sounded quite masculine. It is called Russian leather. So I will stick that into his stocking as well. Next up, I ordered him this fancy razor in a traveling case. I found it on Amazon and I thought it would be perfect for him for when we go away. It looks really, really nice. And as some of you will know, Matt owns a grooming salon, so he's really into grooming. So I thought this would be right up his street. It looks really fancy and it wasn't very expensive. So I got that for him. Then I've got him some matchmakers because he loves those. This is random. I got him some Listerine mouthwash because Matt really loves um, using mouthwash. I was actually looking for a tongue scraper as well because he really likes that. Um, but I thought I'd just put that in because he really likes it. Then I found this little game um, of catchphrase in Boots when I was shopping. So I picked that up because we joke he's really good at this game. So I thought it might be fun to do on Christmas Day. Um, then. This was really cool. I got this from the Honeywell Bakery. Honeywell Biscuit Company, it's called. They make the best um, biscuits ever. I bought the boys um, an advent calendar from there once, and they just smell so good. They're so, so yummy. And I thought this would be quite a cute twist on getting your partner socks every year. He doesn't actually need socks, but I saw this. So it's sock biscuits and they're so delicious. I think they look really, really cute all in that little box. So I thought that would be fun to have in his stocking. Then I've got him a little star of Ferrero Rochers, um, some gold coins because you know that's standard, a chocolate orange because that is his favorite. And then I also saw these um, mini chocolate oranges as well. I also got him a little lint Santa Claus. I got a pack of five and I'm just gonna put one in every person's stocking. Um, and then this was quite cool. I found it on Amazon. It's a bit random, but it's basically a wristband that you can wear when you're building something or putting up a picture and all of the um, 
screws and bolts and things will magnet to the wristband so you won't lose it like you don't have to put it on the floor or try and hang on to it you can just put it onto the wristband so I thought that was quite cool like he didn't need any t tools or anything but I just thought that was really nice and then this I just think is so so lovely I found this on Amazon and basically Matt always says that I'm stealing his nail clippers or pluckers or scissors and all of his grooming stuff basically so I thought why not get him a really fancy grooming kit it wasn't too expensive and it comes in this really lovely like little leather case so I don't know he can like travel with it if he wants to but I just thought that that was really really nice then this I, if this doesn't fit in his stocking I might put it in our Christmas Eve box I thought this was really cute it's a little like handheld coffee frother so I thought it would be good for making like hot chocolates for the boys or a frothy coffee or something like that. I thought that was really cool. I think sometimes it's quite a nice idea to get like kitchen bits for their stockings. Like once I put in a really good quality knife, I know that sounds random, or like utensils that we need. Then I got these face mats on Amazon. I thought they were so funny. They're basically coasters that you then put on your face. They hook onto your nose and they're so much fun. Like one year I got the animal ones and we had so much fun around the dinner table just putting them on so I thought that would be quite a cool little stocking stuffer and I think the boys will really love that as well then I got a couple of vouchers I got these in Sainsbury's you know on the things that just hang there I was actually looking for a Costa gift voucher because there's one right near his work but I couldn't find one so I just got his two favorite restaurants I have 20 pounds for Pizza Express because we always take the boys there and then I also have 20 pounds for Wagamama's because we're actually going there on Boxing Day um, we're going to the football and then we're also going to take the boys to Wagamama's so I thought he could use that then it's just quite a nice little like extra and then every year I put scratch cards into his stocking when I was younger I heard about this person who won 250,000 pounds on um, Christmas Day just from a scratch card in their stocking and ever since then I have bought them like we don't play the lottery ever but I just think it's quite a fun idea. Imagine if you won 100 million on Christmas Day, like, come on. So I just bought um, three of those. I bought like five pound ones, and I think one of them's even 10 pounds, but you can just get like one pound ones if you want to. Yes, yeah, so that is everything that I've got from Matt's stocking this year. I know I've gone a little bit over the top, but as I said, we're not really doing presents, so I really wanted to get him some special things because he does so much for this family, and obviously I love him. Um, so yes, let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys!